10 games to go, Kenny Jackett took his side to Elland Road, knowing that a win might open the door to automatic promotion. Having beaten United at the Den earlier in the season and now in a rich vein of form, the Lions were in confident mood. It was a special night for eight-year-old Cameron Harris, who celebrated his birthday as Millwall's mascot in front of the Sky TV cameras. Yes, Waranka Grant clears away. He's the one still in possession of that number one jersey for Leeds. Shane Higgs, who started off the season as number one. This is Steve Morrison. He could be in here for Millwall. Flashes it just wide of Anker Grant's post. Kisnova's got a big problem here. He's chasing the ball, ball's played forward and just misjudges the, uh, the bounce of the ball. The Morrison's in behind him, they see Kisnova go down, he's got a big problem, but the angle's very tight, Ankergren just about does enough, he doesn't show Morrison a lot of the goal. You see Morrison trying to bend it in with the outside of his right foot toward that far post, doesn't quite do it, but Leeds have a big problem with Kisnovo, but there's the chance, what a big, big chance that might be in the game, just drifts past the, the far post. Including five back-to-back -back wins. They've now played 17 in all competitions and only won four of them. Millwall moving the other way. 14 games they've played since a similar time. They've won nine, only lost one. Here's Dunn finding Chris Hackett, the former Oxford player. Najim Adu, who they call Jimmy. And it's a terrific opportunity for yeah! Morrison. He's got it in at the near post. Millwall leads with just over 10 minutes played. It's the first time really that either side have got the ball down on the floor and put a few passes together and we see how effective Millwall can be. When they do that, starts down the right-hand side, they just keep the ball, they keep it ticking over, lots of players involved, tidy passing, suddenly they're in behind at that leads back four. And this is an excellent ball in just across the, uh, the face of the defence and no one really reacts to it. Morrison certainly does and does very, very well. He missed one earlier on. It's a very tight angle, it comes across to him. He does the right thing, he just hits the target, Anker Grun can't get back, can't make the save, and keep it very frustrated. No ball there, they've shown exactly what they can do when they get the ball on the floor. Well, there's one surefire way to halt any hopes of a Leeds recovery, as far as Millwall are concerned. And that is by doubling their advantage. Hackett with the corner. And the header comes off the top of the crossbar by the captain, Paul Robinson. Robinson up against Bromby, and he just gets a run on Lee Bromby. Robinson, it's a good header, not maybe the most powerful, but what, half a yard lower, that could just drop under the crossbar and Millwall could have been two up at the break. Hard-working side, they can make tackles as well, they can force the opposition back and they can play some great football, so from what we've seen tonight, they really are in with a, a great shout. If they carry on like this and keep playing well, show that consistency, that's what it's all about, to get promotion, you've got to be consistent. And finish strongly, which what's that doing here? Bat! Well, that should be that. Ten minutes to go, it's 2-0 to Millwall. Maybe not the greatest people, a piece of goalkeeping from Casper Ankergren, but really 2-0 is probably a true reflection of how much Millwall have dominated this game. It's good work, actually, from Sean back down that left-hand side. He wriggles away and puts Millwall into a two-goal lead. It's a good piece of work. The substitute on, of course, for Neil Harris. Desperate to get a goal, and he just it's too easy. He just goes away from... Two or three players, he battles for the ball. There's not an awful lot of pressure on him. Comes in field, and there's no one closing him down. And the goalkeeper going down to his right that's a poor goal to concede at your near post. The last thing goalkeepers want to do is concede goals like that. Again, he does all the right things. Baddy hits the target, hopes for the best. And the keeper makes a bit of a mess of his shot. And really, that underlines again how well Millwall have played. They do deserve to be two ahead.